With over 100 caps for the women's national team, Kadisha Buchanan is an experienced defender who was counted on to anchor Canada's back line. Buchanan's first international goal was a memorable one. In 2014, she opened the scoring on a beautiful header for Canada against arch rival United States in front of a packed house in Winnipeg in a 1-1 draw. Since that time, she has contributed on both sides of the ball. With her strong positional awareness and ability to win the ball at key tournaments like the Olympics and World Cups in both qualifying and at the main tournaments. At the 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup in Canada, a 19-year-old Buchanan was named the tournament's best young player. In 2016, while playing for West Virginia, Buchanan was recognized as the top female college soccer player in the United States. And one year later, she was crowned Female Player of the Year by Canada Soccer. Today, Buchanan is in her fifth season as a professional with Olympique Lyonnais in the French First Division. Kadisha, I want to thank you so much for joining us today and just take a little look at the year that has been obviously a tough one for so many of us, but for you, there have been so many great things that have happened. There's the CONCACAF silver, the Olympic qualifiers. Um, there's your third French cup, your fourth league championship, and then your fourth champions league title. Um, where do you think you're at with your game? Even having, you know, the gap thrown in there. Um, yeah, I think we, I started off um, pretty well with uh, the CONCACAF um, earning a silver medal. Um, then the COVID happened. And I think for others, I feel like it was like a spiral down. But I think for me, I really took the opportunity to focus on myself and really making sure that when we do come back to play, I'm in top form. And it's lucky I did that then rather than just slack off because now like with injuries and a lot of people getting an injury, like I got the opportunity to play more. So I think that's, that's been pretty good for me um, that I'm playing, that I'm in the games and really just pushing forward. What's it like to be with the powerhouse that is Olympic Lyonnais? Because I mean, it's your fourth championship, but it's the winningest team in, in that division. Yeah, I think it's it's great, but it's also tough at the same time. Um, the players are awesome. Um, a lot of big players, a lot of big names. Um, but in the end, they're all genuine and all down-to-earth people. And then on the field is obviously fierce. It's, it's, it's tough. It's um, competitive, very competitive. And uh, it's always a good ambience and atmosphere when you're on the field um, because all the players are, are top level and you just want to – be that for yourself as well. You always want to be at the top of your game for every session. Doesn't matter if it's a light session or it's like a easy session or a hard session. If it's tennis ballon, you always want to be the champion in anything that um, we do and anything that we play. You're the youngest of seven girls, but I want to talk about your mom, who's the the matriarch, the the powerhouse, the one you love so much. Um, what is she like, and and what support has she given you throughout your life? Um, what she's like, she's very genuine and, and people can see that from the very beginning. She's very warm, warm hearted, um, very selfless. Um, she will give you what she doesn't have. She's that type of person that she's always happy go lucky and you can, she always hides the struggle and, and the tough part because she's generally a happy person. And yeah, she she warms the heart of who who comes around her. She's um, she has that type of vibes to her. And yeah, her support has been tremendous, obviously to me. Uh, her little baby girl um, <laughs> making it. Um, she's very 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 proud mom. She's on all social media, following me. Um, her profile is Kadisha Buchanan's mom, so she's 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 that proud. Um, but yeah, it's always been, she came over here, um, one time and she loved it. All the girls loved her and yeah, she's, she's been following me from the time I was born to now. And 
she's learning more and more about soccer scares me because she thinks when when like after game she's telling me what i need to do i said mom we don't play soccer um but other than that that's yeah, been nice well i want to talk about somebody who is like a sister to you and that's ashley lawrence because i know you guys follow virtually the same path and now you're both playing in france but you're rivals mm-hmm. um but what's it like having somebody kind of with you on on that journey the whole way somebody who you're that close with um it was a great feeling um and it made it that feeling feel right because we both we're choosing the same thing so I'm saying it must be right because she's doing it and then like because we didn't really talk about it saying I'm going to go to West Virginia so you go to West Virginia it kind of really just happened we both fell in love with the same same uh university and we both like friends so it just always kind of happens so it's like we're both obviously making the right choice because like we don't really talk about it but we end up making almost the same decision mm-hmm. so I, it was it's kind of nice in that sense that uh if i was going through something and whatever the process is we're able to help each other and figure out what's what so Kadisha, I had a word with Rian Wilkinson and she said about you, what's amazing is that you're so good that you could actually kind of just sit back and, and coast and, and still be so good, but you don't do that. Where does that kind of work ethic come from in you? Um, well, I got to give big thanks to obviously Rian, who I don't know if she makes it her job, but she noticed, noticed it notices it so well um when she knows that maybe my my foot's off the pedal a little and she she demands and she demands excellence and she's always there to making sure that I'm pulling the putting the due diligence in and making sure that every game or every practice that I'm working hard and and not being super nonchalant um but I think that really comes throughout growing as a player um, I think when I was younger, I was really nonchalant um, when I was defending, doing other things, because I knew I was relying on other abilities um, to get by, like, with my speed. But I think now I, on such a high level, um, speed is really nothing, and it's making sure that you're doing the things you need to do early and correctly. Who did you look up to when you were coming up as a soccer player or a, a footballer, I guess? Um, for sure, um, Christine Sinclair was the, the idol, um, the talk of the town for me because she's such a world-class player and obviously she's Canadian and you can see her more. Um, and then when I really started getting older and just like, widening in my Verizon, I, I kind of sympathize with like other players throughout the, the team as well. Like Karina LeBlanc, her, she's very charismatic, her just authenticness. Um, I really, um, like that about her. And I really, um, found myself through Karina and she was just, just the, the, the party of the team. So I kind of resonated with her with that and then there was Carm Carmelina who was just a beast in the back and uh, just her technique her ability to to really be a different center back she wasn't really the norm she would dribble she had turns and other little things that I also resonated with um as I was growing and becoming a, a better player so those are like a few girls that I, I really look looked up to um throughout the, the team as far as I know Carmelina is actually really trying to spearhead a movement to to get another women's soccer league here in Canada what do you think that would mean for growing the game in this country I think it would grow it even more um because just throughout the system, it's like when you get to like a certain level, you always look to play in the States and play in America where there is already a league and for university and on college play, it's really high level there. So 
I think if we have a women's league in Canada or a women's team, I think more players will stay and, and it's easier to look up to players when they're actually in the country. We leave every guest with this question and mm -hmm. it is, what is your best advice for a young Kadisha, a young you? Um, I think for young me, I would say patience. I feel like I hold a lot of patience and it's very good to hold patience. And I say this from university, I played almost every game with my national team. I played almost every game. And here there's so many great players. I don't play every game. And sometimes you can, it can be all in your head. Maybe you need to do this, you need to do that. But I think the main thing is to really focus on yourself and trust and believe in yourself. And that comes with patience and being patient to, 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 to go on the field and to, and to perform because you never know what happened. Like I can sometimes you think I would go to a game knowing I'm not going to play and then an injury happens and I'm, and, and I'm right, I'm in the game front and center. So I think it's always patience and just being ready um, to perform. Well, thank you for your time. I know how busy you are over there in Lyon and uh, this was awesome. Thanks, Kadisha. Thank you so much. Thank you.